Thank you, Ethne. Thank you. So, this session is really for dreamers. I'm really looking forward almost now every year as a tradition to welcome uh, and to have a conversation with my dear friend, Ryan Fayez. Ryan Fayez is the deputy CEO of Neom. By the way, who, who never heard about Neom? Oh my God, everybody, only one, two, three, you see? You are doing a very good job. Only three people don't know about Neom. So Ryan, by background, is an engineer, mechanical engineer from the MIT. He is a former banker. He was a senior executive at Goldman Sachs and also, if I'm not mistaken, at, uh, at uh, JP Morgan. And now he has this uh, amazing, amazing mission to bring together a project with uh, many of his colleagues, which my wife is calling Planet B, just to give you really the scale of what Neom is about. And I think it's extremely important to have and to understand, and I'm saying that in total objectivity without any personal agenda, Neom is happening, Neom will happen, and it's properly, probably one of the, if it's not the project of the century. So, uh, Ryan, Many people in this room probably have heard about Neom, as you saw, but I'm not sure they are really uh, familiar with the ambition and the detail of the project. Could you please, uh, just to set the scene, update us about uh, uh, an overview of Neom in a few minutes? Thanks, uh, thanks, Richard, and thanks for the invitation uh, to this uh, amazing event, which I always enjoy attending, and I enjoy the conversation with you uh, as well. Uh, similar to maybe in the same theme you asked the audience, I think the level of awareness of Neom is very high, uh, but people struggle with the understanding. And it's obviously our duty to come to these, uh, uh, these events and try to explain it uh, a little bit more. The name of Neom actually comes from uh, combining two, two things. Neo is new uh, from the um, gr ancient Greek uh, new, and M is the first letter of the word mustaqbal, which is future in Arabic. So it's literally the new future, and that's really what's driving everything else uh, that we do. Uh, just to set the scene, it's a 26,000 square kilometer region in the northwest of Saudi Arabia, almost the size of Belgium. Um, it's, um, it has five regional development projects, which I'll walk you through very briefly. Uh, and then it also has surrounded by 95% of nature reserve. You'll see that sustainability is a very big theme in everything that we do, and reserving 95% of the land to nature as a nature reserve goes along the same theme of, of sustainability that is driven by His Royal Highness uh, himself. Sindal is the first island, uh, first project of Neom. It's an island, beautiful island, opening in a few months end of this year. Which will be one of the most beautiful marina yes. and resort in the world. Huh? Beautiful, uh, has all the amenities of any luxury island that anyone would want to enjoy. A, a marina, yacht club, uh, golf club, uh, golf course, um, F&B retail, everything. And, and you know, I'll, uh, I'll skip the advertising for now and, and, and hopefully send you the invite to come when it's open. And that's the first even though it's one of the smaller projects, but in my view, it's one of the most important ones given that it's the first destination we're going to be inviting people to come to Neom for. Trujina, which is the mountain destination of Neom, uh, up in the north, has mountain tops 2,600 meters high. That's where we're going to be hosting the Asian Winter Games in 2029. Magna, which is the latest, actually, announcement uh, we've made, which is the coastal line of Neom, 120 kilometer of beautiful virgin coast has uh, 12 low density, it's, it's gonna be developed in a very low density way with only 12 assets across the 120 kilometers and the rest is gonna be residences on the beachfront. Oxagon in the south is the industrial cluster of Neom. Um, that's where we, it sits on an existing port and it's, this, it's gonna be a center of advanced and clean industries. We're building already uh, the largest green hydrogen project in Oxagon, and we're also building a data center there that's going to be commissioned this year as well. And then we have the line, which is the, uh, the urban revolution uh, that, that Neom is, is designing. Everything I talked about is the physical, is the hardware, if you will, of Neom. 
But what will differentiate Neom is the software. And the software is the economic engines that will support everything we do. We've identified 14 sectors that are going to be the economic engine that will be the driver for job creation, GDP contribution, um, as well as livability in, in, in Neom. The goal of Neom is not yeah. as it's What is the philosophy behind Neom? So the philosophy is not necessarily, uh, or it's not, definitely not a real estate project. That's what I'm saying. Even though people relate and see kind of the advertisement around the physical footprint, the philosophy is how can we uh, build a city of the future starting from where people left off? So every single one of these 14 sectors, we're not developing it in the traditional way. Not having legacy, uh, both limited physical legacy as well as tech legacy, enables us to start really from the highest or, or the latest technologies and make a step change in what we're doing, whether it's in the tech or digital space or in the mobility space. We've invested in many mobility solutions that we're going to be experimenting and bring to Neom that hasn't taken place anywhere in the world. Or uh, manufacturing, desalination, energy. 100% of Neom, Neom is going to be 100% powered by renewable energy, never been done in uh, uh, a scale of this size. And to do that, we really need to think of how do we capture the energy uh, sector of the future. I have a question that we didn't talk about, but we are so happy to have His Royal Highness uh, in, the, in the room who is leading the whole e-sport strategy. Do you have some e-sports also in Neom coming? We have, we have gaming. So we have a joint venture with NBC, uh, a gaming studio that develops um, uh, uh, games for the, uh, not for Neom, for the globe. And this is, this is actually based out of the States right now. And as Neom gets ready, we're going to bring it back to Neom. And that gonna, that's going to be the core of our gaming uh, ecosystem. You are quite often challenged, you know, by uh, people who doesn't like big dreams. What happened since last year? I, I want to understand the progress that you made since our last conversation in Miami. So we had this conversation uh, a year ago. And, uh, uh, to be honest, uh, it was a very, very pivotal year. It's a year where the perception of Neom being a project, transitioning into a real company with a real business, has transpired. On the investment and funding side, we have uh, signed and closed the Neom Green Hydrogen project. We had talked about it before. It hadn't come to, to a close until last year. We signed a $10 billion J JV with DSV on logistics. This is real dollars, real investment, 51, 49, 51. 10 billion. 10 billion dollars. Uh, and it's a commitment, capital commitment until 2030. Uh, we've also raised about 10 billion dollars of financing, debt financing, commercial debt financing, related to green hydrogen, but also related to Sindala and the corporate, uh, uh, and uh, raise uh, a facility at the corporate level. So more than uh, about 10 billion dollar financing, uh, 60 billion reals, about 16 billion dollars of third-party private sector investment commitments signed, not, not MOUs, signed and committed uh, around green hydrogen, around construction villages, and around um, uh, logistics and, and supply chain. So that happened last year. We launched the NIF and uh, the Neom Investment Fund and the FII in Riyadh. That was a great success. It's an entity, it's our wholly owned subsidiary uh, that is responsible for making the kind of investments I, I, I just mentioned, chaired by His Excellency Yasser Rumiyan, the governor and, uh, of, of PIF, uh, and we've made two and a half billion riyals already of investments. Uh, and we opened the London office, we opened the New York office, uh, we launched the last region, which is Magna. Uh, you know, was, uh, while I was looking at the, uh, at the things that happened, I actually personally couldn't believe how much has happened in just one year. And it just shows you the pace and progress of what's going on in Neom, uh, moving very, very, very quickly. Uh, as, as you saw probably the past few days, we are talking a lot about environment, sustainability here in Brazil, So, which is, by the way, the home of the Amazon rainforest. So what Neom is doing uh, to create uh, ecological harmony when you build from scratch? How do you keep the balance on this uh, ecological environment? One of the key pillars of Neom is redefining conservation. How, how do humans and nature uh, coexist and live together without compromising uh, one another? When we look at the sustainability uh, theme, it's, it's driven through two different teams, actually, within Neom. 
We have the environment team led by chief environment officer. Um, and there we've set the environmental strategy around four key pillars, biodiversity, uh, climate action, sustainability, and a circular economy. That has already been approved by the board chaired by His Royal Highness, and we're already in action. We've already implemented many of what uh, we talked about. We, um, we have an, an environmental protection and monitoring system and program that involves uh, drones, underwater robots, as well as AI to monitor the compliance around, in, and this is live as we speak. We also have the environmental regulation that is going to be uh, driving that in a, to making it the most uh, advanced in, sus and sustainable environmental regulation. We also have the nature reserve, which is the 95% of NEOM. We've done significant regreening and rewilding initiatives. We already planted more than 2 million trees and shrubs, um, and the goal is 100 million by 2030. We rewilded and brought new species into Neom that has, hadn't been there for the last 100 years. And the, the breeding that we're seeing and the uh, acclimation of these species has been fascinating. Um, the line itself is an urban revolution. It is designed to respond to some of the global challenges around uh, urban sprawl, around you know, uh, climate, uh, climate change. And it's also designed to be the first really cognitive city. When we think of uh, the quality of life of people living there, uh, when you think of um, cities, traditional cities, traditional cities have a park in the middle of the city, um, you know, Hyde Park in the middle of London, Central Park in the middle of New York. The line in its design, sitting in the middle of nature, is actually um, a city inside a park, not a park inside the city. You have access to nature at a five-minute walk, you have, it's a five-minute walkable, livable city. Uh, I can go on forever on the line, but more no, to please, that to come please, soon. So, so. Uh, but supporting the line, not only in terms of just the physical infrastructure, talking about the software, investing significantly, we've done that already, in sectors uh, that are going to be the biggest attraction of people, like healthcare. We built a state-of-the-art hospital in Neom as we speak, and it's only obviously servicing our residents and, and uh, visitors but that will be the core of what will be built going forward. Uh, education, we've already hired some of the top deans and faculty from all over the world, already in Neom, designing and building um, the education of the future. And that is one that we can activate actually earlier virtually before the physical infrastructure is done. So many of these sectors are the ones that are gonna be attracting people. Obviously the lifestyle of Neom, weather, much better than the rest of I would say the Gulf, the location um, at the center of uh, three uh, continents and very close to major population centers, and on and on. And I can go on forever and to, to pitch uh, Neom to, to you as future residents and future uh, visitors. Uh, as you know, a fire priority is always a platform where investors are coming to understand where the money should go in terms of geographies and sectors. So how, how can we invest in Neom project? And how can we make money as yeah. an investor? We are at a point now, and you know, when we had this discussion last year in Miami, um, we were working on, on uh, bringing together and packaging these investment opportunities. We're fortunate enough to have very, very supportive shareholders in the PIF, as well as the Minister of Finance, fi financing a significant part of what has happened in NEOM so far. That financing that an investment that happened from PIF and MOF uh, effectively building the basic infrastructure and de-risking the commercial assets that are going to sit on top of it. So we now have a significant number of commercial opportunities that we are in the market with, getting excellent feedback on. It ranges from infrastructure around energy and water. Um, we're building a pump hydro storage, and we have excellent uh, appetite from the market that has come through. It's a 12 billion real project, and some of the global leaders in the field are uh, interested to join. Uh, ports. We're now in the market to look for strategic partners in the port, and the appetite and the response has been, has been great. And this is an existing asset, so we're not building it. It's a brownfield uh, opportunity. Telecom and digital infrastructure, data centers, uh, connect and compute capacity. Uh, we already have uh, a data center in place, but it's ideally located for future, future data centers. And literally every single conversation I have with an infrastructure 
investor is looking into that and we're packaging that and taking it to the market. In addition, obviously, to the traditional real estate and hospitality opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ryan Fayez is too uh, humble, so he doesn't want to promote too much, but I've, I was told that one of the coming big Hollywood blockbusters will be, uh, will be uh, I would say, broadcasted in Neom soon. So you are even attracting the big guys from Hollywood, yeah, correct? You, you never know. One of the guys in the audience may be there to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Fayez, the deputy CEO of Neom. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Richard.